Hey, this is Hunter Tester with Hunter Tester Music. Today I'm going to take you through the song Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. And this banjo arrangement I've created myself uh, based on some other versions and I've changed some things here and there to make it my own. But I've created it in a way um, where you should be able to sing along with it as well so I don't make anything that's overly complicated. Um, so you can try it out and let me know what you think. I have the tab available in the description below so be sure to click on that link first before we get started. So I won't describe every little detail but I'll take it pretty slowly so hopefully you can follow along. So to start out you're going to do three pinches with the first and second string together while you walk up on the second string from the first to second fret and then you're going to do a slide. So it's actually four pinches together which isn't that common. Fourth one, you do a slide from the second to third fret on the second string, and then you play the first string open, fifth string open, first string again, and then the second fret, first string, first fret, second string. So you go straight into that after the slide. all quarter notes. So one, four, three, four. And then you do slide on the third string from the second to fourth fret. Same time you roll three, two, one, one, sorry, three, two, one, two, three. Second string, second fret, third string. So that fourth measure is like this. And then I have quarter notes again. Second string, fourth, third, fourth. So that's the little intro part. One thing that may feel kind of off is going back and forth between time signatures. So you're starting in. 4-4 four, four, which is 4 beats of measure and then you're going to 3-4 and back to 4-4 four, four. so 3-4 three, is 3 beats of measure but just focus mainly on the tab is the main concern here so starting the verse I play all these open to start 1-5 4 string 2nd fret and then 4 string open 1st 5th 1st 2nd fret 1st string 1st fret 2nd string but this rhythm is important so listen to the rhythm that rhythm will be played time and time again throughout the song and I go back to these measures of just quarter notes in between it's a way to uh, make it easier when you're singing and trying to get out a lot of words you can just play uh, this in the background so it's not overly complicated going to the next line of the tab this is measure number nine Three one, second fret on the fourth string, third string open, and then you do a hammer on to a partial C chord, which is first fret, second string, second string, second fret, first string. So you do a pinch and hammer on as well. Then back to open. That's why I didn't describe everything in detail. And then this is measure 15. Two, 
five, two, five. Third string open, and second fret on third string. Fourth fret on the fourth string. And third string open again. So. where it goes in the words there and this is right before the chorus so you do a pull up on the second fret of the fourth string to open third string twice then you walk down on the fourth string fourth fret second fret then open so that measure before the chorus goes like this All you're doing is holding the second fret on the third string and trying to keep it extra simple so you can sing with it. And then you go up one string to the second fret on the fourth string. Just hold that one note. Then you let off. And then back to the second fret on the third string. It's optional which finger you want to use in the left hand. I use uh, middle sometimes, sometimes I use index. <laughs> string again and you'll see a time change in the chorus as well it goes to 2-4 briefly which is two beats per measure and then it returns back to 4-4 four, four. and the fourth string open and another pull off and open third string and this is the part in the lyrics it burns 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 Third string, second string, then you do a slide, second to third fret on the second string, one, five, open, then open a second string, first fret, and a first string. And I'll pause briefly here to, to share what this thing is. It looks like a seven. This is an eighth note rest, so it gets half a beat. So you just, uh, you don't play for that time. But it's very brief, so you can't really tell it as much. And then this is the last line in the tab, uh, measure number 24. Uh, second string open. And then you're going to rest on beats two. And the first half of beat three. And then you come in, third string, open, second fret, third string, second string, and then third string, open. Then pull off, second fret on the fourth string, and then third string, open. Pinch. And that is Ring of Fire. Let me take it all the way through slowly, so you can play along with the tab. That is my adventure arrangement of Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. I hope you enjoyed it.